Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mod 6. As you can see, I'm clearing out a little bit of an area here, and making a little bit of a path, because we're going to be jumping into a new mod, because, because, and there's a, there's, a, there's a reason for this, I need Cobalt, right? And in order to get Cobalt normally, what you would do is you would go into the Nether, and, you know, you, you, you'd go and mine it up, you'd go and mine up this Nether Cobalt. Our problem... Also, I don't even know if I did an intro. It's, it's fine. We'll, we'll just keep rolling. Um, our problem is the nether we've been in. We've been in it before Tinkers was actually added to the mod pack. So, we'd probably have to travel, uh, I would imagine, pretty far out into the distance to to find un... Uh, uh, what, what, what would I say? Places that haven't been generated yet, right? Um, so, I'm thinking what we do is we try and make Cobalt using this thing, the Orchid Ignum. And now, the particular reason why I'm thinking this might be cool is because we have this thing. We have one of them, at least. So, I, I, I assume we could, at the very least, give it a shot. Um, the other option is um, setting up a laser drill, which also sounds pretty cool. We, we could definitely try this out. Um, we would have to set this guy up in the nether, but that should be fine. Um, and now, the reason we need Cobalt, or want Cobalt, is... I went ahead and found these other two books from Tinkers. So, they weren't um, with this other book here, The Materials in You. They were actually on this page, hidden over here. There's also a slime one, but I don't have a, sli a sky slime ball. Um, and these guys tell you about a bunch of different things. They tell you about um, tier 2 materials. So, all this stuff, silver, lead, slime wood, copper, seared stone. And this third one gives you all the information on tier 3 materials, tier 4 materials, and these different tools that we can make, right? Um, and I was looking through here, and I ran into Cobalt, and, and I was reading all the perks, and it says Cobalt is incredibly light for its size, allowing faster attacking and mining. Now, I don't know if this is a counter to um, the heavy perk, um, but, but, but that's what I'm hoping, right? R reading it now, again, I I'm sort of feeling like maybe it's not, Right? Because the problem is, um, where are we? If we look at our, all the modium tools, they have that heavy perk. And that heavy perk is ridiculous. It, you wield it and you just can't move. You're just the slowest thing on the planet. Um, so I was hoping we could figure out a way to counteract that, but I'm not too sure if we can, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. But at the very least, we can set up some sort of mana stuff, and I'm sure it will come in handy in the future. So, um, we just need to make a little area here, um... I'm trying to decide whether it should stay grass or if we should build it out of some other type of block. Alright, I've decided to make this the platform. Um, this could go horribly, and by horribly I mean look horribly, but, um, it, you know, it's fine. W worst case, we can change it. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to set up Endo Flames, and now we've done this on um, all the mods to the sky, so, so I don't want to spend too much time going on it. But essentially, what we need is one of these guys, a Petal Apothecary. And it will use a flower of some sort. I want to make sure that I'm not using um, one that I might not have a lot of. Like, we can use, you know, this stuff, right? Something that we have a lot of, these red petals. Um, so, it's using stone and some slabs. And we get this guy, a petal apothecary. And this guy can probably sit um, relatively close to the entrance, I think. Now, I'm also wondering what the best way to put water in here is. Um, now, I'm not sure if you can pipe into it. But I guess we can give it a shot with, like, a sink or something. Oh, not that sink. Okay, the sink doesn't seem to work. Um, there's definitely an option that we can do. I, I mean, one option is literally just having a sink here, right? And, you know, using a bucket. I, I guess temporarily th this will be fine. We can do that. And then that. Yeah, that, that'll be fine. We'll, we'll have some fancy contraption later, probably using our refined storage network and, like, the auto-crafting of buckets and something. Um, but for now, this is fine. We, we, we don't want to go all in, right? Um, so the first thing we need is a pure daisy. And now we need this guy in order to make living rock, so that we can make a mana pool to actually hold the mana that we're going to make. Um, but also, um, to make living wood. Because I'm pretty sure we need that for something else. Um, but this guy is four white petals, or the flowers, in a petal apothecary. Um, so if I have a look at botany, we currently have, uh, three mystical white flowers. I'm going to grab one. And I'm also going to grab some shears. Um, I guess I can use the older modium ones. And I'm also going to grab bone meal. Right? And then here is the play. 
what we do is we turn this guy into petals. Then we can plant these petals just on grass. Bone mill them. And now you have to hit them with shears or else they won't drop. But then these guys... Oh, these guys turn into four, right? So I'm going to do this a little bit. Not too much. Probably like th this will be enough. And then we should be good to go. Now, if you happen to not have a certain um, flower, for instance, I don't have a light gray, and I was going to use black flowers, but um, these are apparently mushrooms that don't count. Um, you have two options in this pack, at least that I know of. One is you can make, I believe it's called floral fertilizer. So this guy's made with just a bunch of dyes. I think you can even use white dye here. So if you have a bunch of bone meal, you should be good to go. And then you simply, if we clear a little bit of room here, Right click on grass, and it makes a bunch of different flowers. So you get like white, red, you get all of them. The other option, these rats are very pesky by the way, I don't know why they're here. Um, the other option is actually to go into the uh, mining dimension, I believe. And in this dimension, as you can see, there's a bunch of different botania flowers. So I could look through here and there we go, black flowers. We've got that, that should let us make the grey stuff. Um, I think there's also grey flowers that we could find if we, I guess, keep looking. Um, and now I'm also not sure if there's functional flowers here. And now the reason I question that is because I don't know how I got these, um, I've got quite a few different functional flowers, like this guy, the Spectranthemum, and like, yeah, I've got, I've got a bunch of different weird functional flowers, and normally you have to make those, so, or at least I thought you did, but clearly I've come across them somehow. Um, I should be good, I should be good with this now. Ah, here we go. Um, I actually did have to come back and find, uh, brown flowers, and I also came across a bunch of, oh, what's that? A bunch of, um, light grey ones, so now we should be good. Um, because I, I don't actually know if you can, like, make a light grey one. Yeah, it doesn't really look like you can, like, combine a, a black petal and a white petal. I don't think it works like a dye. They, they, they work a little bit differently, so I will grind up all this stuff and get us a bunch of petals. Actually, you know what, mm, yeah, I, I will. I'll, I'll process this a little bit more. And the light grey. Alrighty. Now I have a bunch of stuff. So, first things first. We will make the pure daisy. Right? We should be able to make everything, I think. So, the pure daisy, what we need to do is drop in four white petals. So, you just drop them in. And then it'll give you a tick if you put in the right recipe. And then you can drop in your seeds. And you get yourself a pure daisy. And now, this guy, I believe, needs to be planted on dirt. So I might actually break this, click this, place that there, and place this guy here. And then how this guy works is we can grab some stone, um, if we have any. Um, maybe I'll request some. And then we can place this stone around here, and we should start seeing some particle effects, and that is the pure daisy turning this stone into living rock. So that's how you know it's working, right? Um, while that's doing that... Uh, yeah, while that's doing that, I'm going to try and make the Endo Flames. So these guys will make mana using, um, like, coal. Y you know, any sort of burnable um, thing. So we need red, light grey, and then two browns. So I think we have a bunch of red in our storage. Boom, boom, boom. Red, um, light grey, and brown. So it'll be one of you, one of you, and two of you. And then we see the tick. And then if I had seeds, I would drop one in. And voila, we have ourselves an endo flame. Um, now, I'll probably make a few of these, qu quite a lot actually. That's why it would be nice if it was automated. In fact, I think, I, I saw it for a second, didn't I? It said that there was a way to autofill it. Oh, there we go. I think I shift right click to autofill it and then I can drop this in. Hold on. Right-click with an empty hand to add back the last recipe. So I do that, and then I can drop it in. That's a lot faster. Oh, and if you just saw then, these guys got turned into living rock. So I can pick these up, craft them into a mana pool, and there we go. We have, we have a mana pool. This guy will probably go... Hmm. I guess here? I'm just trying to think of the future where we're going to set up these uh, endo flames. How many do I have? Six. Um. Hmm. I might go for eight. All right, I'm thinking I'm going to plant them like this. So I'm going to do eight like this. And then that leaves me room in the middle to do some sort of um, automation. Um, for now, though, I think what I can do is grab some coal. Um, grab eight in particular. And drop those on the ground. And assuming my magnet doesn't pick them up, these guys should suck it up and eat it. 
Although it's possible that it's too far away now. Let me drop them in here again. Okay, so eight coal on the ground there. And I'm hoping this works. It's possible that it doesn't because the endo flames haven't been linked to anything. Um, and that's what it looks like happening. Un unless the server is somehow lagging like crazy, but I don't think that's the case. Um, all right. Well, looks like we've got to set other stuff up. Um, so I think for the next step, what I need to do is get some wood. So some sort of a uh, log, like pine log should work. Place them around this pure daisy. Yep, we see the particles, so we know it works. And these will be turned into living wood, I believe. Um, living wood? Yes, living wood. Here we go. Um, and then this guy, we're going to be turning into a wand, I believe. Oh, here we go. These are turning into living wood. So I'm going to pick those up. Um, and then there's a few things we need to craft with this. One of them is a mana spreader. So this uses the gold ingot, um, a petal, and some of the other stuff. So let's use the red petal that we have a bunch of. And then we get a mana spreader. And then hopefully we, we might need to do a little bit more living wood. So let me get some more logs set up. Um, because we need to make a wand in order to be able to link stuff together. So I'll place these so that they're ready. And then, and then we'll double check. So the wand of the forest uses three living wood twigs. And each of these require two living wood. So yeah, we're going to need a little bit more. Alrighty, this stuff is done. So here we go. Let us make a wand now. So we need two more twigs. So that's all that is. Oh, if that works. There we go. And then we combine that with two more petals. So hopefully it puts in... Nope. There we go. Two red petals we'll use. And then we get a wand of the forest. Alright. So what I'm thinking is I do something like this. Um, like place that guy there. Then we can break this again. And then I think... Do you right-click it and then right-click the mana pool? Or do I shift right click them? Yeah, I shift right click the mana spreader and then I right click on the mana pool. And then I think shift right clicking on this guy changes whether it's um going to fill up a tablet that you can hold or whether your tablet fills up the mana pool. So for us at the moment, it doesn't really matter. We'll set it up like this. So now these guys should in theory be linked to that. Oh, no, I've got to manually link them like this. So shift right click on them. And then shift right click on the mana spreader. And you can see a little line show up. And you can also see the tick to show that they're connected. So there we go. Like that. And like this. So they're all connected. Now let's give it another shot with the coal. Oh, there we go. Alright, I wasn't too sure if it would work, but it appears as though it is. So now, as you can see, the mana is going in there. We can actually look at the stuff. So these guys would be having a green bar fill up here. But instead, that's automatically going into this mana spreader. And then the mana spreader is sending it into the mana pool. And from the looks of things, we're earning... We're actually generating too much mana. Yeah, you can see it's actually filling up in some of these uh, flowers. Then this mana spreader can, I guess, send. So, the alternative would be to either have less endo flames, which doesn't really sound that smart, um, or have another um, mana spreader, I guess. So, we could do that. Maybe I'll get some uh, pine logs cooking up so that we can do that in, in a little bit. Um, but here we go. We now have mana in here. It's a very small amount, but it's filling up. And then I think all we really have to do is place down our other flower, this um, guy that we want to check out, the Orchid in Ignum. We'll place this here. Um, it has a tick, so I think it's connected to the mana pool. I, th I think it's connected. And then I guess I just drop Netherrack on it. I'm not too sure how this works. I, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be honest. Um, but we'll drop it in, and we'll see if it does anything, for starters. Um, I might have to look it up in a book, though. <laughs> um, you know what? Let's get the book ready. In fact, did this guy stop working? Yeah, okay. So, so these guys are going to need some sort of automation to keep them filled up with coal. Um, another one of those. Um, as for this guy, though, I think we need a... What's it called? A Lexica Batania. So that's going to be a flower and the book. It's fine with me. We can open this guy up. In fact, I think you can shift right-click on certain things. Maybe not. Um, anyway, we want to look at functional flora. And hmm, we don't have it unlocked, apparently. Um, whatever this flower is. Hmm, so it, we might struggle a little bit figuring out what exactly it does. All right, well, as we can see, the mana is actually going into this flower. So we might have to wait for it to get a little bit first. Um. Once again, I don't really know what's meant to happen. I don't know if I'm meant to drop the stack on it, or whether I'm meant to, which sounds even more crazy, place the stack around it. But if we have a look at the flower itself, 
Um, so this guy here. Um, we can see it somehow you put a stack of netherrack into the flower, and the flower spits out either ancient debris, nether cobalt ore, 10 nether gold ore, or 53 nether quartz ore. Now, that sounds pretty broken, so I wouldn't be surprised if he needs... A, oh, actually, it looks like he's about to fill up on mana. Right? Huh. He looks to be full, doesn't he? Okay. So, how does the thing happen? Right? How does... Oh, I'm, I'm probably going to have to Google this, aren't I? Ah, I have learnt about it, and it needs to be placed in the nether to function. It's that simple, apparently. So, we'll hit him with the shears. I, I don't know if you have to, but I'm not going to risk it. Um, and we'll probably bring these guys into the nether. I don't know. That There might actually be another way to do this. I think what we can use is called a spark. One of these guys. Um, or in this case, I guess, two of these guys, right? So let's make two of them. One, two. And then supposedly, you place one on the mana pool, and then the other one where you want it to go, right? So in theory, do we just go in the nether? I'll probably have to look this up, right? In fact, I think I can hold control while looking at it. And this will open up. Um, and placing a spark over a mana pool and another over a nearby block. Um... Hmm, okay. Interesting. I'm, I'm wondering how we can get it from the nether to... Or from the overworld to the nether. My guess is it's probably easier to just set up the generation in the nether. So perhaps we'll do that. That on, honestly just sounds a little bit easier. So let's go for it. Pick up this, pick up this, pick up this. Make a little bit of a mess. Should be fine. Alrighty, I have set up a beautiful room over here. Um, so I guess we're going to place the same sort of setup. It's really hard not to mine absolutely everything in this room. Everything breaks so quickly with this uh, pickaxe. Alrighty, here we go. This is all set up. This guy's set up. This guy's set up. So now, now in theory, we should just have to drop the, um, the netherrack. Now, I don't know why it filled up so quickly last time. Whereas, like, look at it now. It's... Not really filling up quickly. Um, so I'm very much not sure what the cause for that is. Like, it is filling up so slowly. And it was filling up slowly, but then it wasn't. So I guess we'll drop it and I'll wait. Uh, and I'll see what happens. I assume we're going to need a lot more mana. Uh, you know what? I might think up a way to automate this a little bit. Now, I'm not sure how long I've been muted, but um, long story short, we're setting up this stuff. I I've got the network set up, so I, I set up one of these guys in the overworld and whatnot. Um, I'm hoping I wasn't muted for that. Um, but now what I'm going to do is slap an exporter on the back of this dropper. I had to move it on the side because we needed a, a side for the input and a side for the redstone pulse. Um, and we also need to be careful to make sure that we don't have excess blocks dropped on the ground or else the server will die. <laughs> but, but putting it uh, quite literally, the server will cease to exist quite quickly. Um, as evidenced by past examples. Um, so I'm just going to run this cable over and then we're going to have to configure the um, the clock to try and get him running as perfect as we can. So there we go. And then how do I do this? Do I do that? Yes, perfect. And then we can fill this up and this shouldn't actually look too bad of a room. This should be pretty clean. How cool is that? Um, I, I guess the one last bit is to open this guy and put in some coal. Now I think if we actually have a look at the endo flame, um, if we can look at the Ender Flame in this guy, um, we should be able to see. It, it says how much it can do, like the maximum amount of our coal it can take, um, or fuel, I guess. Um, okay, the flower can only burn around four block of coals worth of fuel at once. So, if we want to make these be a little bit longer lasting and I guess a little bit uh, easier on ourselves, we can set up the blocks of coal. Um, that we have auto crafting to go in here as well, right? So we can have exporter, have a block of coal. So this guy should be filled up with a block of coal, in theory. Um, <laughs> the lack of that happening is a little bit concerning. Alright, so neither of these seem to be working. Literally neither of them. Um, so either this isn't working, for some reason. Um, I don't know why it wouldn't be. The only thing I can think of is maybe the overworld isn't chunk loaded. 
like the spot where we have the network guy, but I feel like we would have ran into issues to do with this earlier because it's it's in our base. Is our base not chunk loaded? Um, our base is. We've got our base force loaded. Um, huh. That is um a little bit strange. Minecraft Nether, it's linked. It's set up the same as these guys. Um, I guess the only difference is it's in another dimension. That's the only real difference, right? Minecraft, the nether, linked. Um, hmm. Not sure. Now, what we can do is if we grab this ender chest, the same pattern, I think this is possibly where all the blocks of coals are. I mean, I, I still put the coal in there and it wasn't working, so something's wrong with my network transmitter, I'm guessing. Um, maybe the network transmitter um, or receiver... They need to be upgraded to go into dimensional. I don't. It seems a little bit weird, but it's. I guess it's possible. Maybe. No, no. It doesn't look like anything here. I don't know. Um, but we'll just set up an ender chest though. So ender chest. Here we go. And from the looks of things, what's this? Um, is that just green, or is that like some sort of lime? Um, I'm not too sure what color that is, to be honest. You know what we can do? I think we should just change the colors that they have. Um, so make this blue and black, and make this blue and black. Now, yeah, these are now empty, which means this color still has all this coal in it. So I'm just going to take it out and put it back in the system. Maybe? Oh, I put the wrong thing away, but that's fine. So empty this guy. So now he's empty. And now I can change this color as well. So what is it? Blue and black at the bottom. So blue and black. And now this guy should have coal, that guy should be working again, we can pick up this guy and take him back to the nether and that should work. Um, we might just need, oh no, we've got item pipes on us, we should be good. Um, boom, nether, here we go. So I should, in theory, be able to pick up these guys, we can maybe try and replace them in the future if they decide to work, but we can place that, um, pick up this, maybe put my legs on so that hopefully I pick the stuff up, although... I have a feeling it fell in the lava. Nope, I managed to get it. Beautiful. Um, and then just set up some item pipes, right? Just do this and set up um, the wrench. And voila, we should have droppers. So now all we need to do is, and I should probably take my legs off for now, um, is set up the delay. So the duration I want to be pretty instant. And then... We can leave it like this for now and check. So at the moment, it is set up to every 60 ticks, drop a block of coal. So as we can see, that these ones on the other side can reach it, so that's good. Um, I'm a little worried though because it's already filled them all up. And now there's a another one on the ground. And another one. So we could set up a system that collects things automatically. Um, or we can try and fine-tune this. So let's go... Let's go to 120, right? So that it's double the time that we just had. I'll pick up these, and we'll just wait and see if that's enough. Okay, I can already tell you, no, no, that is not enough. We need we need to delay this guy a lot. Let's go the max, because obviously, if the max doesn't work, we need to rethink this whole thing. Oh my god. That thing just turned this into quartz in front of my eyes. I've also delayed it a lot now, and we still have the issue. What I did is I set this guy up to be a duration of 200 ticks and a delay of 200 ticks. And it's still... I mean, we've got excess on the ground. I'm thinking in that case, what we might want to do is set up just normal coal so that it burns a little bit quicker. Um, that seems like the safe option so that we don't have all this stuff on the ground. Um, but this guy appears to be working, but he appears to be working in a very strange way. He appears to be turning the... Uh, netherrack around him into the stuff. So I don't know if I want to clear the area out. Um, it says 64 blocks. So like, I don't, I don't really know what that means. I'm, I'm very confused by this, by this uh, little flower here. Very, very confused. All right. I've set up this guy, uh, just a little blast chiller here because um, we are apparently out of obsidian. Um, so no more ender chest. Uh, I need to make a few more. I'm going to try and set up a system, make sure it works, and then I'll let you guys know about it. I'll, I'll like, tell you how I did everything. Alright, so I'm setting up these guys here, um, with a little black die in the middle. And so this is going to have coal placed into him. Um, the reason I'm doing coal now is because coal burns faster um, in the orchids than the block of coal. 
And that way we can automate it easily with the, you know, just this guy, just the uh, clock instead of some other, you know, crazy method. So I should be able to do this now and then make this work a little bit better. So let me take off this and I'll watch this. Wait until they all do a full rotation and we'll see what we're at. I've also cleared out this area here so that hopefully we can see just exactly how this guy works. He's filled up with quite a lot of uh, stuff at the moment. I just... I'm not too sure what I'm meant to do here. Do I drop a stack on it? Like, I don't know why it says the stack of netherrack if it doesn't need the stack. Like, instead, it, it, it appears to just be turning the things around it into these, um you know, different ores. So what if I do like this? The, the way the orchid worked, like the normal orchid, not this ignum one, um, you would place the blocks around it like stone, and it would turn the stone into the ores. So it makes sense in a way, but the bit that confuses me is the whole the whole 64 thing. I don't really get that. Let's see if the normal orchid shows the same thing. Maybe it's just how it writes it. Yeah, okay. So I'm guessing maybe that's the range at which it can function. So I don't... I, I'm still a little bit confused. I, I will say that. And it doesn't help that... Oh. Okay, it just did the thing. It just turned something around here into, you know, whether it's quartz or something else. Um, and the problem with that is we're in, like, the side of a mountain, so it's hard to see what exactly happened. Alright, looking at what we have set up here, it appears as though the current setup that we have is near perfect for doing four orchids. As you see, when it drops a coal, none of these other four pick it up. Um, it might now because it's dropped in a weird spot, but... No, actually, yeah, look at that. It Only these four are picking it up. So, in theory, all we have to do is halve this to be 100 delay, right? 100 delay on the dot should now be perfect to keep all of these full, right? I, I mean, I think so. I think so. We'll, we'll obviously have to see, but so far, so good, I guess. Um, and I, I'm still reading up about uh, this little flower. Uh, I've got to learn about it, apparently. Okay, okay. I, I, I've learned it. So, it's 11 by 11 by 6. So what that means is 5 blocks either side of the flower. So this would be the 5 block, the, the wall, right? So this wall wouldn't get touched. Um, 5 that way and 5 that way. And then it would be 3 blocks up. No, wait, wait, wait. 2 blocks up, 3 blocks down. So like 2 blocks above the flower. So I assume 1, 2, and then 3 below it. 1, 2, 3. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's doing its thing. I'm thinking it's probably best to move it over a little bit, just so that I don't have to dig up the wall over there. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So we'll move this guy over. Um, I'll pick him up. I punched him, and luckily it did drop. Um, and then I'll probably go like one, two, three, four, five, and then perhaps here. One, two, three, four, five. I could one, two, three, four, five. I guess that's fine. Yeah. That th this should be fine. Uh, so I can place this guy. Let's make sure he's still linked. Just so that we don't have to move anything else. Yep, he's linked. He's doing his thing. Now I'm going to clear out a massive area to um, fill this up. To, uh, you know, make sure that we can see every single block that gets transformed. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, this is the current setup. Now, I think we can sort of... I won't say cheat, but we can do a little trick with um, an exchanging gadget, I'm hoping, and actually just switch out like these ores that get changed for netherrack. So like, I can do that, and it will replace it with netherrack, and I should get the, you know, the gold ingots or whatever, or how much have we got? Five quartz? So can I click this and get eight quartz? Yeah, so that works. Um, so that way we can keep them all, you know, the right type of uh, block, and... He still hits these walls, I believe. Um, obviously, we'll watch and, and and wait, but I'm pretty sure. Also, is this guy functioning? The mana spreader appears to be full. Completely full. And these guys aren't picking up the stuff anymore. So, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Alrighty, so now we should see... Um, these guys should all be pretty empty of mana. Um, but down here, we should see each of these getting their own bits of mana. This guy should be empty because it's all going into this orchid. Um, and I heard him make this sound before, so I guess maybe he made this? Is that... Yeah, I guess it's within range. So I guess he turned that into quartz. Um, so yeah. Lots of quartz, a little bit of gold, and 
rarely cobalt. But I assume if we chunk load this, and I'm now I'm a little scared too because obviously whenever we're dealing with dropping blocks and stuff or dropping items, it's a little scary. But it appears to be working. It appears to be working. I'll, I'll definitely check in later though because I am scared. But it, it appears to be working. Let's let's go ahead and chunk load this. Um, if it breaks, I delete the server. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, but but that should be good. In theory, this should be good. Should be. In theory. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please do consider subscribing. It'll help out the channel quite a lot. Um, if you want to become a channel member, you can do that too. If you want to play on the server, you can do that as well. Join the Discord below. All the information is there. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.